Let's say you're working on a map and you want to make your area of interest have a nice cool glow drop shadow sort of illuminated effect. We'll get rid of the fill for now and instead of a solid stroke we'll give it a gradient stroke. We'll make it very thick. In this case I'm going to go all the way up to 8 and I'm going to offset it by half of its thickness so it only renders on the outside of the polygon. For the innermost color I'll give it black. The outermost color I'll give it black but I'll make it 100% transparent. And we get a nice sort of drop shadow effect, but it's hard to really spotlight the area of interest, but we're on our way. In the structure tab, I'm going to duplicate this shadow. Back in the layers, we're gonna reverse this offset so it's negative half of the stroke thickness. That way it renders on the inside of the polygon. And I'll make that inside color fully white and the outside color I'll make white with a 100% transparency. Now we have kind of an inner fade, but it's a little abrupt and kind of crazy looking. So what we'll do is apply an overlay blend mode, and that will bake the brightness and darkness into the tones of the underlying map. Now maybe you want to make the inside of this glow a little bit more than the outside. So I'll bring back this fill, and for example, I'll make it 50% gray. In this case, the blend mode of overlay will ignore 50% gray. Apply. See? No change. But if I go darker than 50%, it'll have a darkening effect. If I go lighter than 50%, it'll have a lightening effect. And the interior of my area of interest has more vibrancy. And that's how you can use faded gradient strokes and blend modes to create an illuminated spotlight effect.